Freaking Love Nation. Redemption is key this video. Okay. Cause last video, I was I was trying to just prove something a little bit. You know, I wasn't trying to just straight catch fish. But this video I'm gonna try to. We're going catfishing and we're going to Lake St. Louis. I got a couple different selections I'm gonna be using and um uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what's up. It's getting a little chilly, but today, well, the past three days, it's been feeling really good, very good. So that's good. The water's getting a little bit warmer, but then after today, that cold is coming in hot though, really fast. So yeah, we gotta get out here. We gotta fish. We gotta fish our hearts out today and we gotta catch them. So I'll see you down. Okay, so we're on the way to the lake and we realized that um i forgot the bait at the house how you feeling about that <laughs> you're lucky i thought about it on a real note though but uh yeah how you doing you can't rearrange it if you want all right so we made it down to the spot and um totally forgot that they lowered the lake in october and yeah there's a lot of space between the grass and the water but we'll have to figure it out i guess we might be able to put a pole holder down there right by the water by the rocks and then we'll figure that out Oh my god, it's tackle galore down here. What? We got a rattling jig. <laughs> There's some huge muscles, dude, dude. Gigantic muscles. Where's that crankbait? Oh, there it is. Hey, I'm fine with gaining some money back by all means because I always be losing lures. <sighs> oh, yeah. Poor guy. He got it stuck right on this, uh, right on this rope. I might not even mess with that. I might come back down here once I get the poles out. I'm going to put my big catfish pole down there on that little grass that sticks out a little bit. She's got hers all the way up here. She's not even that far out, so. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm gonna go down there and I'll show you my weapon of choice. Got some big old pieces of carpet in here. Nasty, slimy pieces. <laughs> I don't know. I might not even put that piece on yet for sure. Big old chunk. So we got our chunk of carp on there. My baby's already out. Got her two poles. We're going down here though. We're gonna see if we can get more access to this water because with that much of that water taken out, it's very hard to get far out. That feels like grass. Nope, there's a rock down in there. More rock, more rock. All right, I think I might have found a hole. But we might have to put some rocks in front of it. So it could be stabilized just in case Big Bertha decides to come play tag along. But yeah, mostly, I mean, what I'm expecting a bite out of this chunk is probably a blue. You never know. I mean, a flathead might take it, but I forgot the worm, so I couldn't catch bluegill. And live bluegill is probably the best thing to do for flatheads. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to see what happens. 
All right, and then we'll put pole in this rod holder we got right here. Okay, then we're gonna leave that like that for now. Then grab some rocks. All right, we got three decent rocks now. What we're gonna do is just put it right in front of the pole. Cause I know dang well that hole is not sturdy enough. So we're gonna set this drag. My hands are already cold, you know. All right, so we got it out there now. We're gonna put a couple more rocks around it because I don't think it's too stabilized. We're just gonna have to roll the dice, I guess. We are going to have to roll the dice on it. All right. We're set up. I have a feeling I'm going to lose a pole, but <laughs> we're out there. Now I got to figure out what to do with this other one. I might not even put it out. And if we're not staying that long, I might just let that one cool out there for a minute. Yeah. All right, I just got ticked right here. We just packed everything up. We're about to go. I mean, we got probably 10 minutes left. And I just got ticked. Channel cat ticked. So. I guess we'll see what happens. It's probably a channel. Just by the way he bit right there. It's got to be a channel. Alright ladies and gentlemen. It is 1229. We have everything packed up. And we're gonna head down to a little spot where she wants to go, which we can go to, that's fine. I mean, I can catch some fish there, but <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go to that spot. We gotta throw smaller baits there because mostly channels are there. I mean, I don't wanna jinx it or anything, but yeah, mostly channels, little peckers. But yep, I'm gonna reel this in and then we're gonna be on our way. So yeah. All right, second spot. We have the channels here. We have the the nitpickers. You know, we actually have one right down there that we caught. Wow. Yeah, we filleted him up last night. That is for sure. All right, we got it on there. We got that hook exposed. You need that hook exposed for them cats. This actually, right here in this area, I've caught catfish, so. Maybe it's a good idea to throw some carp right around in here. There you go. That's far out there. Like always, 25.8, always set that drag. I don't use bells around here. No way, Jose. Got that bait out there chilling. Okay. You gotta run. Hey, she's already hooked up at the spot. Take the bell off, or do you want me to do it? I think you just got off. No. No, he didn't. Yeah, get him, baby. Yeah, he ain't that bad. It's a channel though, or it might be a blue. Nah, he's a channel. Yeah, already. That's wild. <laughs> That's all you. Wow, 
That's a good one. That's a good filleting one if you want to fillet it. How long was that? How long did you? Two minutes. Two minutes. What the heck? I thought I was doing Do you want to? You said grab what? The stringer? Look at you. Wow. Fresh getting here. See? Channel infested. <laughs> But hey, it's catching fish. I will tell you that. I mean, yeah. Size 11 foot. Ain't that bad. Oh, you got them bleeding, baby. Ooh. Let's get a little close up on you. You know it had to happen. Let me get my pole out since you got these channels all excited already. Hold on. Yeah, and around around here, maybe. I guess they're stacked up channels and stuff, and we literally just throw we could throw any bait out there and they'd bite it, to be honest. She's been putting Kool-Aid on cut bait and that's been even working. So they're just stacking up before it gets too cold. You all right over there? I mean, I can give you some assistance if you need it. Uh -huh. All right. Perfect timing. Wow. I was just about to come grab the GoPro. Cause we got a bite on this one, bite on hers, and then I got a bite all the way over at mine. It's a bunch of ticks though, man. You know my big pole is. Channel slurping on it. That's all they're doing. We still got the bite on here. Well, you've been in that warm car this whole time, of course, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, see, here we go. Come on now. All right, people are probably gonna think I'm crazy because it looks like I'm talking to myself, but we have been getting destroyed by these catfish. They are murking me today. We got these four poles out. All we're using is just the carp, a little cut bait because I forgot the worms and I didn't get to catch bluegill. And that's what I was gonna mainly use, but other than that, we're getting bites almost on every pole with this carp. It might be a blue, but these blue, if they are blues, they're not taking it, you know? Blues just have that tendency to just rip it, you know, take off with it. But, I don't know. They are kicking our butts right now. They are winning. But, Melissa's got one, which is awesome. Really good. Uh, 
But yeah, well, actually, I guess I'm getting my butt kicked by him. She got one, but yeah, so we're just here. We're waiting, seeing what happens. And would you look at the Catfish Pro? On the big pole? What? All right, Daddy, we need you. All right, um, I don't know where I'm gonna set the GoPro. Okay, perfect. Remember up and then reel down. Oh, he's really close. Yeah. Oh yeah. On a big pool. Reel it. Wow. Really? Reel it. Alright, stop, baby. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. That's a blue. That's a nice blue. Yay. So wallowed. Can I see it? Oh, you hit me in Wow. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. I hear it purring. Alright. Of course, now stuff starts up. Yeah, of course. So this is the fish of the catfish. And it's a blue, it's a decent guy. Okay. So this is the tail, and this is the body, fin, fin, and the fin, his belly, his belly, his gills, his eye, and his mouth. He swallowed it. So, that's pretty good for now. Good. Oh, yeah. This is Daddy. Oh, yeah. And you caught that, too. Well, Mommy helped a little bit. And now I have two bites on both poles. Let me get this in here. Can I have it? Uh-uh. Daddy's got to put it right here. Okay. And then maybe you can hold it a little later. Do you need help? Okay. Rylan's got one. You had that little, little piece on there, right? Remember, go up. You gotta remember that, baby. Look at you. Keep on reeling with daddy. They're not with me, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job, baby. No channel. Yeah. You wanna hold it? By the mouth. On that little chunk too. <laughs> wow. With your thumb. Why? He's not gonna bite you. And if he does, it's not gonna hurt. Yeah, he doesn't have teeth. It's just rough. Are you gonna hold him? You might want to do two hands. Yeah, put one hand under here. Don't let go. Please. Yeah. He's got those pimples on him. Are you scared? Do you really want to mess with that? 
Nah. Yeah, let's let him go. He's lit. The girls are beating me today. What? <laughs> hey, bye bye. So this right here, baby. Okay. Yeah, that's called your drag. And when you loosen it, that lets line come out of your pole like that. So then what you have to do is you have to twist it right for righty tighty, right? You gotta twist it real tight until you can't twist it no more. And then you reel, okay? okay. As you can see, the night is arriving. And what that means is y'all won't be able to see on the GoPro. So, excuse the loud truck behind me too. But what we'll probably do is just hang out for another 10, 15 minutes, if that even. And then we'll head out. I mean, I guess good news is we didn't get skunked. Bad news is I got skunked. <laughs> but that's cool. We got some footy today. We got some fillets. Got some fillets too for the Sunday dinner, of course. But yeah. So about 10, 15 minutes and then we'll head out. So if anything happens, it happens. It is that time of the year. There she blows. That's the video for today. Well, not today, but I mean, I'm doing this the next day, but yeah. Oh, we had a good day. Very good day. We caught three channels. One was really small and then the other two were pretty good size. The biggest one, we thought it was a blue at first just by the coloration and stuff. But then I looked at the actual fin of it and yeah, you saw I put that it was a channel cat. But um, yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all liked it. You already know what to do. There's a thing that you can do or you like a video. It's got a little thumbs up. You should click it or you can actually subscribe to my channel, which is another thing you should do because I would love that a lot. And... You can go ahead and comment on it. Anything you want. Let me know. Let me know if it was a terrible video. Let me know if it was a good video. Let me know if you never want to see this kind of stuff again. Let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. Let me know, guys. Take it easy out there.